What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is more of a foundation video or a more entry level to playing chord changes. We'll be looking at Ico Ico slash Man Smart Women Smarter because both songs consist of a progression of only two chords, right? The one chord to the five chord. So today's video is how can we approach that, right? How can we break it down to a very, very small phrase that indicates the chord changes? Then how could we add more notes to really say a lot more, but still hear the chord changes? So without further ado, let's dive into it. <laughs> So today, like mentioned before, we are looking at Ico Ico slash Man Smart, Women Smarter. Two Grateful Dead songs that both consist of a two chord progression. The progression being one major to five major, right? Ico Ico being D major to A major. Man Smart, Woman Smarter being E major to B major. And the way you think about these songs is exactly the same, right? You can do triads all over the neck, right? And the same licks apply to both and as well as how you can approach them, right? So the first thing we'll look at now is the scales, right? Since one major is our key, it'll be D major, your classic D major scale. Right? And when we look at this A major scale, the five chord, this G sharp doesn't work with this D major sound. Right? That'll be the sharp four in D. So to make these two chord scales have the same notes, we're going to modify the A scale to have a G natural, thus making it a mixolydian. Right? So now the D major scale. A mixolydian scale both consist of the exact same notes, which is awesome. And 
as we know, when moving through these chord progressions, the root and the third degree of the chords are our best friends in outlining the chord and really saying, where are we going, right? So if we look at this D being our root on the seventh fret of the G string from this triad, fifth, root, third, then we have our A right here, right? Something as simple as going from D to C sharp, which is half a fret below, indicates now we're on this A major, right? And these outline notes that we're playing are just chromatic scale, A, B, C sharp. Then A, B, C sharp, D to indicate you're going back home to the root chord being D major, right? Now, if we want to approach this D to A by approaching the A root, well, then we can look at it in a bit of a different way. Again, our D being the seventh fret of the G string, right? Now we can see we have an A seventh fret of the D string as well as an A octave above on the 10th fret of the B string. So let's see two ways we can approach those roots. Right, and that's just playing down the scale. Right, not rocket science. If we want to go higher to this A on the 10th fret of the B string, we can do something like this. And then go to the octave D, 10th fret of the D string, right? So again, we have two ways. Right? And the extra notes I was playing there are just E, F sharp, A, B, C sharp, D. So going up literally the scale, just missing that G. I'm also spelling there an A major triad essentially. Right? A major to D. So those are two ways you can approach this D to A chord change, right? By hinting at the third or the root. Triad. Back to the root of D, right? So there right there is a lot you can work with. The foundation being, do you want to approach the root or the third? Everything else is just excess that you want to say, right? 
So something a little more complex like... Still getting to the root of the chords, but I'm just adding more notes, right? Again, something like... Right, even there I'm coming down the scale of A and then sliding and playing an A major triad. Right, and still getting back home. The guitar fretboard is like a road map. You can follow the GPS and get home in five minutes, or you can take the detour, which could be shorter or could be longer. The main idea is you're still getting back home, which is the most important thing, right? So again, I'm still heading back home, either very simply or by just taking a detour, making more turns, making more stops, but I still get back home. Now, I'm going to zoom in and let's talk about this cool little dyad thing I've been doing and see what's really happening. So I'm going to pause one second and zoom in. Well, all right. Now that we're zoomed in, here is that dyad lick I've been playing. One more time. In essence, that's still from these two triads, right? So for the D chord, I'm playing the root D on the 15th fret of the B string and the third degree F sharp on the 14th fret of the high E string. And I'm doing this dyad which you could say comes from, in this context, the key of D from the C sharp diminished, right? Which is E, the 17th fret of the B string, and G, the 15th fret of the high E string. Back to the D. Now let's indicate the A. The A being the third degree, the C sharp on the 14th fret of the B string, fifth degree being the E 12th fret of the high E string. Right, and that's a cool little movement. Right, 
right? So like in the beginning jam, I do. And there I'm coming down the scale, right? Right? To get back to that D. One more time slow. Right? So that is that very cool diet lick I've been playing in the beginning. I think I got that from Mayer from like 2017 shows. I think he did that in Man Smart, Woman Smarter, but I just figured it out in Ico Ico. I don't know. I got tone drunk one day and that really happened. <laughs> well, all right, guys. That's today's video on maneuvering through Ico Ico slash Man Smart, Woman Smarter and these two songs that only consist of a two chord progression. Like I say in the video, the guitar is like a roadmap, and when you're soloing and creating these phrases, it's almost like following the GPS when driving back home. You can play it simple and follow the GPS and get home securely and safely, right? Not taking any risks. Or you can avoid the GPS, go left, right, up, down, center, circle, whatever, do some more crazy things, as in playing more phrases, more licks, but ultimately you still get back home and you still outline these chord progression and you can hear the changes without playing the full chord, right? So again, in essence, start small, maybe go from root to third, which in this case was a half step apart, or go up or down the scale to the root of the chord, right? Then as you feel more comfortable, and it may seem very robotic when you're practicing, then you can add more notes and more licks slash phrases, because I think personally, it's always easier to start less and add more as opposed to starting with a ton of notes and trying to take them away. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to maneuver over Ico Ico slash Man Smart Woman Smarter, two incredible Grateful Dead songs that when in the groove can be incredible and the soloing over these two chords can be so much fun because there's a bounce and you're trying to figure out these phrases that work and doing the full chord with triads. Yeah, great songs, great jams. So if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.